Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. The Walking Wick and Iron Leaves Terror Raid event is now back in Scarlet and Violet. We're going to go over all the details as well as the best builds for you to beat these with in your game. So this is the third time this event is coming around and a lot of you had missed this previously but you've got the opportunity to go in and finally grab the walking wig and iron leaves the final two paradox pokemon that are event exclusives in your copy of scarlet and violet and see the details here the event this time around is running from the 25th of december until the 7th of january you've got walking wake which is one of them primarily gonna be exclusive to pokemon scarlet players will be level 75 protosynthesis ability moves it will have is hydro steam dragon pulse noble roar and flamethrower with additional move of sunny day these pokemon can never be shiny the walking wake will be a water terror type and its nature will be completely random when you catch it you can only catch one of these per save file so just keep that in mind the item drops as always for these events is pretty decent you're going to get a lot of large and xl candies you're going to get water terror shards and then some higher cost items nothing too special though from these events and moving on to the iron leaves this is going to be exclusively available for violet players again level 75 it will have the cork drive ability moves it's going to have or side blade leaf blade mega horn and sword stance and additional move of electric terrain it will be a pure psychic terror type again the nature will be random upon catching it it will not have a held item and again like the walk and wake it's only going to be catchable once per save file so once in your Scarlet, you're going to be able to catch Walking Wake and Iron Leaves and the same for Violet players. You're not going to be able to catch any more of these. Again, the item drops are pretty similar to the Walking Wake. And like I say, this event is running from December the 25th until the 7th of January. So two weeks for you to take advantage of it. But if you are one of those players that does need to catch these two exclusive event Pokemon in your games, then to do this, you make sure you are connected to the internet. Come down to your Poker Portal then down to mystery gifts and then get poker portal news this will update all of your dens in the paldea region these spotlight events will only exclusively be appearing in paldea so just bear that in mind but once you've done this update you'll be able to come onto your map and you'll be able to find the spotlight terror raid event for this pokemon exclusive to your game pretty easily so one of the best builds that we're going to feature in today's video for Walking Wake. This is primarily going to be a solo build, but it is going to feature Iron Hands. Don't take this build online. This is primarily meant for if you're in-game yourself, trying to farm this or grab it in your game. So Iron Hands, a lot of you already have in your games. It's going to be an easy one for you to cater for this specific raid. Turn zero, you're going to see the Walking Wake go for a sunny day. It is going to activate that Protosynthesis ability on it and set the sun on the field the turn one we're going to go for is a belly drum with the iron hands we're going to see the normal roll come out from the walking wake that's going to lower our attack and our special attack but not anything we need to really be worrying about that is fine because we're going to see that belly drum come out now and then the next turn we're going to lock in with a charge as well so this is turn two and it is a, a three turn system this it really is it really makes it very easy we're going to see the hydro steam come out not really going to do too much damage to us and we are going to take that charge and also boost our special defense as well as our electric type attack so this next turn is where we're going to launch off a wild charge and that is going to be enough with the life orb attached to this iron hands to pick up the one hit kill on walk and wake and this is pretty pretty consistent this this strategy here you might get some turns where you, you go into the raid and a hydro steam comes out turn one and it does way more damage than what you expect if that happens you can just reset the raid come back into it and uh, the rng with the noble roll or any of the other option moves attacking moves that the, the way the walk and wake chooses will be fine you'll be able to get this consistent three turn strategy off every time and like i say a lot of you have iron hands in your team so you'll be able to execute this one pretty easily and pick up walking wake it is the easier out of the two paradox pokemon that we got featured this weekend against the iron leaves you are going to be in pokemon violet because this is going to be primarily a solo build that you're going to be using any intimidate users that you're going to get alongside you are going to help you of course we've got the star raptor there but this is primarily a build that i wouldn't suggest taking online for those of you that want to just play in your game and get these pokemon by yourself so we're going to see turn zero the quark drive go up from the iron leaves that's going to boost its attack that as long as that electric terrain is on the field 
turn one, we're just going to lock in with the sword stance. We're going to see a mega horn come out from the iron leaves. Turn zero or turn one, I should say, as we boost our attack by two stages. Now we're going to get three sword stances up, get our attack to plus six before we actually launch an attack off into this iron leaves. You can see how useful that intimidate is from the star raptor from the get go. And we also have paralysis now as well from our partnering Pokemon. So you can get an array of really useful partnering Pokemon to come inside you. Drift Blim can be a good one. It can burn the Iron Leaves. Arbolivia is a nice one as well for getting rid of the terrain there. But you can see the Intimidate paying off quite, quite effectively here. So we've got those three Swords Dancers up. You can see our attack is plus six. The next turn, we're going to go for an all out attack cheer. And that's just going to bolster our attack a little bit more. Give us a bit more oomph to be able to pick up the one hit kill with the king gamut the next turn and we get the fully paralysis so the rng is very kind to us in this one but the next turn we're just going to go for that kowtow cleave and it should be enough to pick up the knockout onto this iron leaves and consistently we're going to be able to do this in four turns well really three turns of sword stance one turn of attack chair so that fifth turn you're going to be able to kowtow cleave and from whatever range the iron leaves is at because you're holding the life orb it's going to push you over the edge and you're going to be able to get the knockout so very very strong consistent way to be able to use king gamut against the iron leaves if you are playing pokemon violet but i suggest using this build only if you're doing this solo in game first off we're going to cover the builds for walking wake the first one is going to be a solo build which is iron hands it is an electric terror type we're not really going to need that because you're probably not going to get to the point where you need to terrestrialize with the iron hands but the life orb is a held item level 100 and hyper trained of course the moveset that we've got is going to be Charge, Wild Charge, Drain Punch and Belly Drum with the Quark Drive ability and then an EV spread of 76 in HP, 252 in attack and then 176 in special defense with an adamant nature. The next one is going to be Mariodon. It is a very effective method just like the Iron Hands and for those Scarlet players out there that do have Mariodon in their game then this is going to be just as an effective build. You're going to be able to do this in literally three turns as well. Here, Amulet is the held item. You're going to see Noble Roar on the Walking Wake, so we'll try and lower your stats. That's going to prevent it from being able to lower those stats so you can get the knockout when you come to attack. It's going to be Electric Terror type, going to be level 100, hyper trained, and then the moveset is going to be Metal Sound Charge, Electro Drift, and Parabolic Charge with the Hidden Engine ability and the EV spread of 252 in HP, 252 in special attack and a modest nature. So basically, all you're going to do in this raid is turn one, go for a metal sound, turn two, go for a charge and then turn three, go for the electro drift. And that's going to pick up the knockout on two walking wig. And it is as easy as that, just like the Iron Hands. Three turns, you're going to be able to run through it, pick it up in your game pretty easily. Like I say, pretty much the Iron Hands is a solo build. Don't take this one online. It won't work as effectively, but the Mariodon is going to be a bit more bulky. It is going to be able to support team members with that metal sound, with the charge, and obviously the electric terrain as well. So that one is a bit more flexible to take online if you want to go online against Walking Wake. Then the third option we've got is Belly Bolt, going to be one that's primarily good for going online and supporting other team members. Belly Bolt are very effective Pokemon against the Walking Wake. It's going to be bulky enough to take the attacks from it. So the build that we've got here is going to be level 100, Electric Terror type, Metronome as the held item, Light Screen, Acid Spray, Thunderbolt and Parabolic Charge. Electromorphosis is the ability and the EV spread is 252 in HP, 252 in Special Attack with the rest in Special Defense and a modest nature. Basic idea of this, when you're going online to support other players, you're gonna turn one, get that light screen up, and then you're gonna spam Acid Spray for three turns. If the Walking Wake decides to nullify all stack drops on its side of the field, just go for those Acid Sprays again, get it down to minus six special defense. If the raid's still going at that point, just spam Parabolic Charge whenever you need some health recovery. And Parabolic Charge is gonna be the main reason why you've got the Metronome on there, because it's gonna power up that move every time you use it consecutively in a battle, but a very good option if you want to, something to take online to do these raids with other players, then Belly Bolt is a very good option for Walking Wake. And now we're going to cover Iron Leaves. So first up is King Gambit, Dark and Steel type. It's going to have good resistances against a flurry of attacks that the Iron Leaves can throw out at you. You're going to have the Dark Terror typing. The Shell Belt is the held item, level 100, hyper trained, all the IVs, and then the moveset of Swords Dance, Foul Play, 
Italian defense and Kowtow Cleave and the EV spread is going to be 252 in attack, 252 in defense and the rest put in HP with an adamant nature and the ability is going to be defiant. Next up is a scissor and I really like scissor into this raid. This one's going to be something that you can do solo and you can take online to support other players if you have got a scissor in your game. Gonna have that bug terror typing shell belt as the held item for a line of recovery level 100 hyper trained all of that. And then we've got the move set of Sword Stance, Iron Defense, Lunge, and Defog. Defog is an egg move. So you're going to have to find something like a Frozmoth, then put it in your party with the scissor, having a spare move slot on your move set. Have the scissor hold a Mirror Herb item and then set up a picnic, and the Defog will be transferred onto it that way. But Defog going to be really useful against the Iron Leaves because Defog, when you use it, will remove the terrain from the field. So taking away that quark drive ability boost that it does have when the psychic terrain is set at the start of the raid then we've got the iron defense it's going to be the first thing you're going to use at the start of the battle boost that defense up so you can take attacks a lot better then go for those sword stances boost your own attack up and then go for those lunges as well because lunge is going to be doing super effective damage it's going to be hitting really hard but at the same time it's lowering the attack stat on the iron leaves which is really useful for not only you if you're soloing it in your game with scissor but also partnering Pokemon if you're doing this online. EV spread is pretty straightforward again, 252 in attack and then 252 in defense with an adamant nature, the rest put in HP. The ability here, I've went for Swarm. Technician doesn't really prove any use at all on this move set, so Swarm probably a little bit better. When you get down to a third of your health, then you'll have that boost to your bug type attacks, meaning that you'll hit a little bit harder, but that is the scissor build. Again, I feel like a very solid one going into Iron Leaves if you're going solo or online this weekend when the raid goes live. And finally, we've got the last build that we'll be featuring in today's video, and it is going to be Skeledurge, and it is a very good support option going in against Iron Leaves. It's going to be a very good option to provide good support for partnering Pokemon, partnering players, and also being able to do some very good significant damage throughout the raid whenever you need to. So level 100, we've got the Ghost Terror typing on there. Shell Bell is the held item. Then the moveset of Will-O-Wisp, Lick, Hex, and Torch Song. The ability is the big important one here with unaware and the ev spread is going to be 252 in special attack and 252 in defense with the rest put in hp and a modest nature again all the builds will be featured down in the description below if you want to take a look at them after the video the basic premise of this is going to be getting a will-o-wisp off turn one that's going to half the attack power of the iron leaves for the rest of the raid or until it removes that burn from itself that's also giving you the boost that you need to hex to double the damage on that attack as well uh, after you've got the will-o-wisp buff you're going to pretty much go for a torch song and just spam that to get these special attack boosts on your side of the field and then spam the, the the hex after that just to get some really significant damage off the reason why we've got lick there is when the shield goes up it will likely get rid of the burn and then will-o-wisp becomes a bit null and void you're not going to be able to burn it through the shield but lick is an attack that you can use where it has the chance to paralyze the iron leaves so you can use that through the shield paralyze it through the shield and then you can still utilize that double damage hex uh, for the rest of the raid especially if you are at the point where you can terrestrialize and get some significant damage to close it out just that little bit quicker so that was the reasoning behind that so all in all they are six builds that we're featuring in total in today's video they cover everything from solo builds to going online and supporting other players when you are taking on this brand new terror raid event in your game so hopefully these will help you out you'll be able to pick up these pokemon pretty easily as i say all the builds will be down in the description below so you can check them out after the video if you want to build anything for yourself in your game if you are taking part in this event over the next two weeks to grab yourself these paradox pokemon while they're available let me know which one is your favorite and i hope you have a lot of luck grabbing them along the way thank you so much for tuning in to today's video it is this event obviously going up live on christmas so i hope you all have a wonderful christmas and i will see you very very soon with another video here on the channel take care of yourselves friends thanks for all the support as always and i'll see you very soon so until then take care and bye bye